people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that dancehall artist Tommy Lee Sparta, he was spotted, he was seen in a video that is making its round on social media and people in this video he is obviously in the big yard in this video he is obviously enjoying himself he is dancing and he is being cheered on by his fellow inmates now people when you look at a video like this and we think about tamale sparta's situation People, we see that he is acting as if he is at home. He has acclimatized, that means that he is acting, he is not worrying about a thing. He is fitting in with his fellow inmates who are criminals. Now, people, when you look at stuff like this, we have to understand how the dancehall thing works. If you have any sort of gangster credibility, it makes you a more better dancehall artist and people. I am not justifying the action. I am just saying that that is how it is and people, not how we want it to be. Now, when you think about Tommy Lee Sparta and his chances, we've seen that he has beat the system on several occasions. We see that he likes his chances. We see that based on the history, based on the fact that if we understand these police, they have a history of fumbling all sorts of cases because they always go for the over K-I-L-L. -L. So therefore they go to court and they lie. And people, the fact that he also has a very good lawyer, we are speaking about Mr. Smith. He likes his chances based on his history. But people like them say, Every day the bucket goes to the well, one day the bottom is going to fall out. Will this be the time when the bucket falls out on Tommy Lee Sparta? People, me no know. Now people, like I said, I am not justifying the situation. However, we know that Tommy Lee Sparta is a very jovial person. We know that he is respected in the big yard. He is respected in the street. He is respected everywhere in a dance hall. And people, most of the dance hall fans are the ones that are usually packing up in this big yard so people we see that he could make the situation get the better of him or he could make the best of a better situation or of a bad situation so people that is what he is doing now people we have to also understand that Tommy Lee Sparta he understands the dance hall business he understands that controversy and drama sells and if there is a video that is posted and gets out there it is only going to keep him relevant and once persons are calling up your name in a dance hall people we are speaking about free promotion and like i said before whenever you have any sort of street credibility it only adds to your status in a dance hall and people i am not saying that that's the way it is, should be or it should be however that is the way that it is point blank and period so people at the end of the day he had a couple of choices he could have went to the big yard and basically stress out himself thin out himself and start worrying and lose him here rate lele blue blah bling however people we see that he is making the best of the festive season because we see so we just celebrate christmas and maybe this video was taken during the christmas season and people you understand whenever you are a celebrity in a prison and especially if you're a dancehall artist and especially if you have any sort of street not notoriety people you are even a bigger celebrity in the big yard and people we say said Tommy Lee Sparta is basically getting all sorts of props and people this is my disclaimer once again I am not justifying his action I am only saying what is going on however what Tommy Lee Sparta needs to do he needs to re-evaluate his life he needs to be in there and making some sort of song and making some sort of constructive move as it pertains to his life as it pertains to the career so people we know that he has gotten many chances so people the moral of the story is that Tommy Lee Sparta needs to do some sort of introspection he needs to evaluate his life he needs to look into his life and seeing that he has gotten many chances and seeing that he is in a very good situation where he can make some legal money so therefore he needs to let, let go of the badness let go of this gangster thing and people live a life of a legitimate person because people we see that the direction that he is going it is headed down a slippery slope it is headed down a path of sure destruction 
point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel where I speak about Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this. And people, I just posted my first video in about five or six months, so therefore I would appreciate the support. And also, please subscribe to this channel where I speak about true Jamaica buzz and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news and people on the theme of one day the bucket goes to the well, the next day or one day the bucket I go drop out or the bottom I go fall out. Now, people, in this case, I am speaking about an incident that occurred in St. Thomas yesterday at the intersection of the Trinityville and the Georgia Main Road. And people, it is said that the Popo and some gunmen on bike, we are speaking about four gunmen, they were in some sort of S-H-O-O-T out. And after the smoke clear, it is said that one of the men, they was passed out, they were taken to the, or he was taken to the place of recovery. However, people, he did not make it. Now, people, what is so interesting about this situation is that based on the information from the Popo, it is said that this man is a man that was wanted. He escaped from the lockup in a Portmore in a 2015. So, people, he left. And in less than six years, he is gone. He is taken off the shelf. He is taken down at the big yard. No, not the big yard, down at the graveyard. Now, people, when you look at a situation like this, like I said, had he remained where he was in the first place in 2015 and people like me say, I don't know his charges, I don't know how much time he was facing, however, more than likely he would have been out by now. However, people, he is out, I am speaking about lights out, he is taken to the afterlife. Now, people, based on the information from the Popo, it is said that the family is supposed to come and identify the body. Now, people, when I heard that, I was started because I am asking the situation, if this man was already in a lockup, wouldn't there be some sort of DNA, some sort of fingerprinting, some sort of facial recognition, especially now that we are living in an age of technology? We are speaking about 2015 to 2020. People, Jamaica is woefully lacking as it pertains to that because if you have to wait for the family member to come and identify this person, that means that you are not sure. And people, I am not saying that because it is preliminary. Now, people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not. The Popo is a set of buffoons or babbling barbones. Medjosa said we would have expected that they would have known this person's identity based on the fact that he was already in the system. He was already identified. He was already fingerprinted or hopefully or I would have thought that he would have been already identified or fingerprinted. Some people may not know. However, the fact is that them get off one bad man off of the road at SKP and known gunman and known thief. Some people happy with dance. And we also heard that the Popo sees an automatic gun and we are talking about x amount of rounds so people that is always good news so people the essence of the story is this this man got one chance in tech for himself and people he was doing the same old same old thing and people like them say the definition of insanity is doing the same old same old thing and expecting a different result however people we saw that he got a different result he got the worst arrest result that he could get he took it to the extreme we are talking about the pope of them take him out in a some sort of gun battle so people we have to say bye bye birdie prison bird point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up